And I think budgets from two points of view. One is run the business and one is change the business. I think run the business has been the growth driver for HCL in the last one year. We grew during recession four quarters, we grew to about 23% year on year. Um, going forward, when the recession gets over, is behind us, you will find more discretionary projects coming in, more transmission projects coming in. And that will be driven by enterprise application growth, engineering services growth. So the, the growth drivers will undergo a change from run the business to change the business. Remote infrastructure will continue growing predominantly because it saves you a lot of money on, on your run operations. Uh, it is still a young industry. Uh, it is not as matured and grown as the application development industry. Therefore, there is a significant headroom for growth. So it's a strong value proposition with a lot of headroom for growth. And therefore, that industry will continue growing. Do you see a change in the nature of work coming out in BFSI now, especially in the US, from integration to probably newer um, I, I, I think uh, the BFSI segment in US especially is getting ready for uh, dealing with new consumer as I was talking about there. Uh, the new consumer wants to consume financial services in a different way than the old consumer did. And therefore they are making investments not just in mergers and acquisition and integration but developing new platforms which are more web based, uh, providing more uh, agile services to the consumer. Uh, providing more products to the consumer uh, than they are combining uh, insurance products, banking products, capital market products on the portal. So, so there is a lot of investment on you know new products, new services, new categories uh, which financial services companies are doing so that they can get a larger share uh, of what I call the new customer. Also one question on uh, this whole uh, thing on protectionism. Do you think that this kind of an argument would sustain that you, know, you need to conserve jobs in the US or you need to hire more in the US or you think the existing business model works well? I, I think it's a fair argument that every democracy should be concerned about uh, jobs uh, in their respective countries. Uh, and to a certain degree, job creation and uh, unemployment is a responsibility of, of the local government. And therefore, uh, what I call rational steps forward uh, is the right thing. Now, the question is, what is the rational step forward? Is it uh, to start the economic activity in the country so that the jobs get created? Or is it to protect the uh, economic activity, protect jobs, which reduces the economic activity? So I think the best case scenario is you protect jobs and the economic activity increases. Uh, if that you can't do, then at least what you need to focus on is increase the economic activity, uh, you know, which will in turn drive jobs. The, the worst thing you can do is to protect jobs, which reduces economic activity. And that, you know, that, that will throw us completely uh, in the side. Do you think that uh, Obama's stand on uh, protectionism will favor India's IT product industry? Will more products come up? and our emphasis on services will go down because business there is going down? I, I, I don't think, uh, you know, uh, either Obama is doing it for India or... Uh, I, I think these are two, uh, two different issues. Uh, the reality is that US and Europe will take stances which are good in their own assessment for themselves. And the question is that Indian IT industry, like companies like HCL, will have to reconfigure ourselves uh, to align with those stances uh, so that we can uh, convert those uh, signals of strength into signals of opportunity. What are the steps uh, being taken currently by itself? I think the steps being is that you need to be more local, which we have done. Uh, you need to be uh, hiring locally. Uh, you need to focus towards industrialization of IT rather than outsourcing and offshoring of IT. Uh, you need to bring value add to your relationship rather than just the cost advantage. There are fundamental changes which are happening in the uh, IT industry, which HCL has responded pretty well. That is the reason we have uh, grown during recession. Oh, like ramping up your hiring? Are you Would you think ramping up your hiring in the US? So we, yeah, we have. If you see last quarter, we have ramped up about 2,000 people in our, in our headcount. And, uh, you know, in we don't US? give... In, oh, yeah. So we are one of the unique companies which have hired people in US and Europe. I think the total combined in the last uh, calendar year, uh, in, in the last you know four or five quarters, I think we would have increased our headcount of you know local hiring between US and Europe by about three thousand people.